Hi everybody and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host Katie. It is time for a brand new live stream game and I have chosen for good or for ill the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Maidan. Now this is a game from Supermassive Games. Uh, their first horror game they created was Until Dawn, if any of you guys remember that. I did not actually play that personally, but I did watch a Let's Play of it. So this should be very narrative-driven, story-driven, and should scare me out of my pants. I am a, uh, I am a little nervous, to tell you the truth. This seemed like a really good idea until it came time to actually hit the Go Live button, and I was like, what am I doing? This is... people are going to see me cry on camera. But anyway, let's greet everyone who's already here. Jared, one of my moderators from Games Done Slow and Bad, thank you for being here. I knew you wouldn't miss out on watching me scream like a little girl. Uh, Andrew from 1UP Tempo, hello, thank you. Yes, I know, always busy, busy playing Blitzball. Busy playing Blitzball. I know, it's just very life-absorbing. James, hey James! And Caroline, my little sister, thank you for being here. How was homecoming? Probably for ill. Yep, this will be fun. Oh gosh, I'm so glad that y'all are looking forward to it. I promise it's not anywhere near scary as Until Dawn. Oh, well that's good to know because I actually found just watching the Let's Play pretty terrifying. Alright, and the cat has jumped off, jumped off my lap. So guys, without further ado, I finally got some straws from the grocery store, so I'm back to using a tiki mug. Grab a tasty beverage, and let's get started. Can you hear sound? Oh, look, an in license user agreement. Well, this is already terrifying. Who doesn't want to read any of this? I don't, but we're just gonna... I like how there's a skip to end button. I'm just gonna pretend I read this, because I am on camera. And then, okay, accept. Oh, and a privacy policy. Man, this game is heavy. Brightness. So things appear darker on YouTube than I do here. So I'm going to up it to 60 and that should be good for you guys. If you need me to brighten it up in the game options as we are playing, if you can't see anything, let me know. The cat knows this better to get out before the scary starts. Yeah, otherwise I'm gonna like fling her off my lap and into the camera. Homecoming is good, loud but fun. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's little dances. So I'm looking at my laptop and it doesn't actually appear that you can see the other three skulls. All right, we're going to go 70, and if that's too light or too dark, come on, come on. There we go. I can adjust it in the game. So we're going to play alone because I'm a coward. I'm going to look at settings first. I don't know why that makes me a coward to play alone, but I don't know. I'm kind of not playing alone with you guys. I am so nervous. I'm just like chatty, chatty. I walked through the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Hey, Mr. Dugu, welcome back. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Alright, we do want subtitles, so we're just gonna leave all of the sound. Good. Okay. Yes, I do. Hold to complete button mash. I do not need that. We're gonna do quick time events. We do want subtitles. For colors and background? I don't know what that actually means. Oh, enable per characters. No. Oh, a high contrast background to make it easier to read. No, I do not need that. So all of this should be good. So enough stalling. Hey, Tracer, welcome. Thanks for being here. Also, if you're expecting a story that's as good as Until Dawn, I have bad news, but have fun. Oh, shoot. Well, the thing about Until Dawn, though, I hated everybody. So every time someone died, I was like, yay! So if every character is as annoying as Until Dawn, I think I'll still have fun. I survived Shia LaBeouf! <laughs> All right. Single player story. Let's do this. Tell me how sound is for you guys. We don't have music yet, just sound effects. All right, now we have music. Make sure we can hear everything before I actually click play. Oh boy. All right, new story. Also, FYI, um, how long to beat says it takes about five hours to play this game, so it'll probably take me about six. I will only be doing 90 minute live streams. One, because I think dividing this up into three Let's Plays would be perfect and playing for two hours seems like a bit long. 
and uh, I don't know if I can handle a horror game for two hours at once. So this is going to be 90 minutes tonight. All right, I have no feedback saying they can't hear music, so we're going to start with new story. I can up sound if necessary, so just let me know. What um? Why am I doing this? This will be fun. This will be so fun for everybody. More fun for you guys, hopefully. That's it. I'm doing this for you, not for me. I hadn't pre-ordered this game with full, every intention of playing it like a brave person. Man of Maidan. Wouldn't it be funny if it's actually pronounced Maiden, and I've been mispronouncing it this whole time? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Emily, thank you! Guys, Emily slash Coffeeology just donated five dollars! Nothing but. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my god, that's huge! Thank you so much, Em. Alright, I'm brave now. Let's do this. Oh, thank you. Now I'm all red. Thanks a lot. <laughs> So we have some coffins that certainly no zombies will be bursting out of. The descent into madness. Oh, Caroline, I've been there for so long already. Okay. Thank you, Em. That was super awesome of you. Okay, Mr. Dugu, I will increase volume. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. How was that? Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to You call yourself Charlie Charming? Can I fight? Hey. Give me a quarter. Oh, when carnival Why? games only cost a quarter. Find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Death. <laughs> oh, uh, will I be rich or tell me about my son? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. I actually really, wanted to pick uh, rich, but apparently it's timed. Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Death. Wait, we didn't make you brave already. <laughs> I don't know. Five dollars makes me brave. Ooh, dragon tail. Why would anybody pick bamboo over dragons? Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Use R to examine. That's a weird. It it's a salmon. Looks like a fish. Looks like a salmon. It's got a beak. The money must be used for makeup. Ooh. But Wesley, I have to get the new Urban Decay palette. Emily told me I did. Told you, death. Called it. Death. Why do salmons represent death? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Rates updated. Hey, bud. Let me get it. Go at it. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, let's check this out. Current objective, hear your fortune. I am altruistic, reckless, insecure, and selfish. Right? Maybe? I don't know. That's what I call myself. Well, I gotta be brave with you. I'm about to play Dead Space. Oh, man, you're gonna freak out. Dead Space is a great game, but I can't play it. I have to watch a... Uh... Nope, all locks. Think you got the stuff? I have to watch less plays of it. Fine, sure. Let me know the quarter. Oh yeah, I can punch shit. Tab. Because salmon is good on sushi. <laughs> I'll give it a salmon was never actually traditional sushi topping. Did you know? Oh, it's so cute! Look at it wiggle his little arms. Use right stick to aim, R two to punch. Oh, okay. This is fun. This is kind of weird. 
She's like, make it faster. Oh, I have to be in the center. Uh, I got it. Even faster! Whoop, hello. <laughs> yeah. ya. Like oh yeah. Oh, I got a trophy for that karate master. Hey, Chuck. Why am I wasting time on this idiot? We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Caroline, I'm honored. I truly am. Katie, I think you need to increase your volume. Really? Uh, the game volume? How about now, Mr. Dugu? Oh yeah, Tracer, I saw that. That's exciting. I'm Karate Master. Ha 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 ha. Andrew, I was not okay when I played Dead Space. Did you play the two and three as well? I'm almost done watching a let's play of two. It's a lot fuller. Awesome. Okay. If anybody ever has any sound issues, let me know. It's coming out for Android too, right, Tracer? Hey man. Hey, where's my where's my fifty cent? Fifty cent? What fifty cent? Come on, man. Hey. I spent it on whiskey. Night-night. Good my medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. I believe you're right, Doctor. Get this one to the medical board. Did you ever play Fatal Frame? Play. I have played the intro to Fatal Frame multiple times. And that is as far as I've gotten. I have really tried to get Wesley to play it with me, but he hates horror games. Me, I really want to play them, I just chicken out, so... Yeah, I get to the first ghost battle, and I die, and then I never keep playing. Imagine having an android. I'm super cool, therefore I have an android. <laughs> so, Andrew, did you not even beat the first Dead Space? Yep, definitely. A li lightning strike. Of course, let's let's uh, bring everybody back to life. This is great. <laughs> Mr. Dugu, stuff like that happens. I promise you, you can't you can't let that stop you if, the, if streaming really is something you want to do. There are always technical upsets with streaming. That's probably my son, Salmon Boy. Why are you trying to get me lucid, and then now you're increasing the sedation? Sick Bay. And we held each other and cried. <laughs> That's beautiful, Andrew. It sounds like it brought the two of you closer. Two pops come back soon. Oh, God. You know what, Mr. Dugu, when you have me turn up the game volume, it actually turns it up in my headset, too. And now it's even more terrifying because I had tried to keep it as low as possible. So thanks for that. Thanks for that. Anything of interest? I see a sparkly on the cabinet. Oh! 
Okay. What? 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 He did. This game is dramatic AF. Is that money? All right, so it's a key. Might as well pocket that. So uh, you've seen better days. Look out behind you. Don't even start that, Jared. Say goodbye to moderator privileges. He's probably fine. Sleeping in the closet or whatever. Normal thing to do on ships. You know, that's true. Sometimes it's really hard to find a place to just have some alone time. Oh, I was locked in there with a dead body. <laughs> Fun. The intro scared me. I am not ready for this. Uh-uh. If I have to do this, so do you. There's no escaping. Nope, you don't want to go that way? I love his bewildered expression. He's just like, What's going on? Okay. Oh, I don't I don't like this. This is like Resident Evil hallway scheme where you can't see what's ahead of you. This is totally total Resident Evil camera shots. I don't like that at all. Then things pop out at you as soon as he rounds the corner. Makes me nope, we're fine. We're totally fine. Just breathe. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. You don't want to tell him about the dead body you found? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... There we go. The important part. Corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. By the way, I just finished installing Darksiders 3. <laughs> Let's see if there was anything cool in his room. Ooh, yes. I want in the suitcase. Oh, it's a safe. Hell yeah. Let's crack this puppy. All right. I need to find a safe code. Because this may not be the type of game where you loot crap, but I'm going to loot everything I can. His expression was mine the first time I went down the Mega Violet Target. And they keep getting more and more better stuff, Emily. It's amazing. And that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. So, naughty, naughty. Every muscular guy has that expression. It's the beefcake expression. Ooh, I like that for a title. Let me, let me just write that down real quick. Beefcake impression. Expression. Something shun. The intro in this game is scarier than the entire rest of the game, so if you can get through this, you'll be fine. What? What is happening? Ready for that. Caroline, you better not be wrong. Oh, nothing in there. Okay. Okay. What were you doing, friendo of mine? Back here. Look at that. Go to the desk. Look out. Shut up, Jared. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why do we do anything? Brig week 27. Monday. Arthur Miller. Private Petty. Theft one day. Theft one day. Brig. Small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday. David Davis. Private. Trespass two days. Brig. Found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday. Lewis Brand, public intoxication, one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, blah, 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 found drunk. Okay, cool. So that's just a list of everybody who's been thrown in the brig recently. So that blood could belong to David Davis or the person ahead of him. All right, just follow me, buddy. Make me lead the way. Why? Make him lead the way. Oh. oh! God damn it. Press X in time with a heartbeat. What the hell? Okay.
I am calm like a Zen master. I'm calm, bitch. Mr. Dugu, I have to agree with you. Caroline just forgets the fear. Well, you're probably a braver woman than I am. I like how that that's their real only, only response. They're like, well, that was freaking weird. Marky, I don't like scary games. I'm just going to sit over here in the corner with my eyes closed and ears covered, okay? That is totally fine. Thanks for joining, even though you hate scary stuff. Is this better or worse than watching me play Sekiro? Behind you, Jared, I swear. So help me God, Jared. Nope, that's locked. That's fun. I have a key. We should try it. Okay. I'm as calm as Adachi when he was tossing people into TVs. <laughs> he did so with such gleeful abandon. I loved Adachi as a villain. He was excellent. I think I've played Golden. Oh! Why is there a child on the boat? I hate creepy ghost children. Don't like creepy ghost children, especially when they start singing like Ring Around the Rosie or crap like that. So you want me to check in here? Staring at lockers. So we can go two ways. I don't want to miss anything, but I guess we'll look at this one first. I don't know. You know what? No, we're going to go to the one that's far away from him. Did she reply? I can't hear her. Ears covered, remember? <laughs> nope, there's going to be something popping up on... Charlie, we're going to see a face. We're going to see a demon face. Oh. I didn't see that. I failed. I was covering my eyes. Let's try again. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Uh, Fubar and that song. They didn't say Fubar back then. Okay, that was fun. I knew it was coming though, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Seriously, Emily? No, I had no idea. I love The Shining. That's a great movie. All right, so I like how we just move him to the side. Uh, I want to go back and open that other door, but apparently I can't. So, fun stuff. Great. I've already missed something. Guess I'm going to have to replay this game. Aw, thanks, Jared. Yes, while you're changing pants. Oh, I forgot. Trundlebot. Give me oh, one stick. Another stick? Oh, good. Someone else is dead. I always forget Trundlebot. Yeah, I know how to move. Is the creepy children singing song to me? It is. Twinkle, twinkle. You know you're going to be fine when you start off with no ammo. I'm just glad there isn't, like, much shooting in this game. Because I don't do well with shooters. Okay, let me... Turn on Trundlebot. Connect. 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 Okay, we should be good now. That way, if anybody wants to do some annoying things, like make it play chicken on a raft, you can. Oh, damn it, Buckley. Damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Well, he ain't Holy now. Fucker. He is Fubar. I know how to move. <laughs> Therapist, what do we say to <laughs> add to cart? I definitely online shop to make myself feel better. No, I want to go. Wait, come back up. Let's go see if there's anything in this corner. I run. Nope. That opens that. No, okay, there's nothing there. 
I add to cart, but I never actually buy anything. I just shop. But I also do the same thing when I'm happy, so... Apparently, before the stream, I was actually looking at uh, custom leather dog collars for uh, when my puppy grows up. Get him some bling, you know, because dogs totally appreciate bling. Is that a bloody floor? I'm sure it's just painted red, right? Hold L1 to walk faster. I just asked if I could do that. Why didn't you tell me? Then things can jump out at me faster. Congratulations, you walked fast and found another locked door. So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? With all the right bodies around us? Guys, no. Like to talk about it daily. Wow, bro. We're in this together. The least you could do is share a little bit with me. Okay, yeah, I buy shit, lots of shit when I'm depressed. I make it rain. Oh, Jerry. Come on. Just, just, no, no. Buddy, navigate. There you go. That's the way I want to go. Oh boy. I like how to walk fast. Your walk faster. Oh! Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? <laughs> I hate jump scares. Okay. <laughs> I need some wine. BRB, Amazon just showed up. What did you get the dog yet? Um, I actually just bought him a, uh, a crate and a travel carrier for when we go pick him up in Nebraska because uh, Petco is having an up to 70% off sale on all crates. So I went ahead and got his crate now. But that's all I've bought so far. I just have a huge list of everything I'm going to get. Charlie, get over here. Sorry, Marky, I didn't like that either. <laughs> get oh, gruesome. Mm. So they all killed each other, it looks like. I'm sure we all just went insane. Well, I have the gun, so that makes me feel a little better. Why are you saying for shame for Petco? It's a great deal. The crate is normally $390 for a big free dog, and I got it for like $150. Nope, nope, we're gonna see shit. I don't wanna see shit. Stupid little kid, I'm gonna shoot you with this gun. They look fine, they're doing fine, nothing bad is happening. This is all fine. Fine. Hey. Come here. Come here, little kid. I ain't gonna shoot ya. The hell I ain't. Nope, creepy giggles. No creepy giggles. Oh god, no. Charlie! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope, I'm fine. Oh, because you work for their competitor. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Well, next time they have a 70% off sale, Jared, you let me know. Hey. Nice contact, kid. Nope. I feel like I shouldn't actually shoot him. Like, what if it is a kid? Oh! What the shit? I am calm and unflappable. You little shit, you just gave me a heart attack. Literally. Boy, howdy, this is fun. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Chuck that game in the creators of it. <laughs> they 
hello to the Grim Reaper. How many arms do you have? Excuse me. That is too many arms to not be an octopus. The power of Christ compels you. not playing Dead Space anymore. I mean, seriously, Tracer, if you think this is scary, don't play Dead Space. <laughs> yeah. Sing it to me, baby. Caroline? So rude. I thought you loved me. Dude, this song is awesome, though. Okay, well, we got through the intro, and I think that's good. You know, let's just call it quits for now and never play this again. <laughs> Woo, okay. That was just the intro. I gotta say, I love this song, though. You know he means business because he's wearing a bowler hat. Alright, so we have, like, Samara there. We have, like, the Silent Hill nurses. It looks like Samara's mom. Warrior Within. I haven't actually heard of that one, Mr. Dugu. I need a song for my workouts, right? I need it like double time though. <laughs> Just your friendly neighborhood axe murderer right behind you. Nothing to be concerned about. So one thing that Until Dawn did was it would actually sort of interview the player and figure out what scared them most and then incorporate those things into the game. So you would be given the choice of what scares you more, clowns or spiders? And if you pick spiders, spiders appear in the game. So part of me is tempted to always pick the opposite Hello. of what doesn't scare me as badly. To my repository. But I shouldn't cheat, right? Dude, Brittany's awesome to work out too. Not gonna lie, I kinda like working out to Nickelback. But you're I really fun to see get scared. I'm so happy about that. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Why is beauty the opposite stories of greed? Such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Wonderful. And determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish. I will probably or kill everybody. They are snuffed out. I like how his vest is like a giraffe pattern on the you back. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. What if you don't have a moral compass? But you compass? shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It mm. is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. You're not making me feel Still, any better. None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Don't be a coward. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. I like hints. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make <laughs> better decisions. So pick up a picture, 
Joe's a grizzly fate, and you know not to do that. In the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. Can you, we'll Caroline, can you lose this game by accidentally getting everybody killed? Account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Oh, it's gonna be a big mess. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> you better work, bitch. Wesley loves that song, actually. He finds it motivational for office work. <laughs> when you meet Conrad, try not to hate him or get him killed. He's really helpful and not actually a douche. Chicken on a raft. Hi, Wesley. Witty, Brad, Alex's brother, and innocent. Hello, Brad. Witty and innocent. I mean, I already like Brad because he's carrying a case of beer. Alex. Insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. So maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh... Yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, you didn't discuss this before kinda, you went yeah. on this vacation? Uh, it's embarrassing. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. You're embarrassing, Alex. Gall. Hey, look, the Switch! Whoa, careful. <laughs> that dive cam is, like, super expensive. Bro, Nintendo cool. Switch what? dive cam accessory. Julia and Conrad are... You know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Wow, you were the worst brother ever. Uh, I'm not good with people. I think Dude, I should be more passive. You know I'm not, like, Dude. the best around new people. Whatever. You gotta shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well... What if somebody it's asked not, me to yeah. do something stupid, it's, yes. like, run around naked or something? It's congeniality. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. So skinny dipping. Sorry, I'm a little yeah. snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Spoiler alert, she's gonna dump you. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. I'm gonna be the no nice worries. guy. Huh? Yep. Right All right, bye, Mr. Well, Dugu. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you for turning in. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. Let's check that out. Help Alex prepare for the trip, so... Okay, so right now I am truthful, anxious, witty, and innocent. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I see. So it actually shows you what choices you made that uh, will raise and lower a relationship. That's cool. Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just uh. You want me to be truthful? Kind of a big thing. I'm trying to make a decision about. Are you gonna propose? About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know. I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Brad told Alex to think things through. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, just don't jump into a proposal willy-nilly. Julia, excited. Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother, foolhardy and relaxed. So they're the fun people. Sorry. <laughs> Wesley's Hi, Alex and I'm Alex. Brad. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. I like Conrad's shirt. It's Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! 
feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with me. Uh, remember, we're supposed to say yeah. yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. I'm going to make terrible choices. But he told me to say yes to everything, so we're going to do that. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. God, Alex. Stop ruining things. Or Brad, whichever one you are. Uh, all the time! I'm just yeah. going to fake everything. He's totally. going to be the most... All the time. Like... Thanks. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, nope. <laughs> not noob. I can practically breathe underwater. Oh god, I'm just gonna like create a terrible so you, scenario uh, where I die immediately. Three times, you know, here and there, family trip. So now I'm truthful and deceitful. I blame my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Liss, impatient and courageous. Ooh, I like her tattoo. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? We're just gonna take off. Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Ew. Haha. Oh. Uh -huh. Conrad is a jerk. Caroline, isn't Conrad the one you told me not to hate him? Cause hate him just a little bit. Oh dear. Of course I get seasick. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Me when I'm left unsupervised. <laughs> okay, now I'm playing as Alex then. That's interesting how you about switch characters. That's cool. Over here. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I vote for just a nice dive. Let's do that. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm going to go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Your advice means nothing to yeah. me. I'm not going to check the relationship and trait stuff every time. Feast your eyes on this. It doesn't really change that much. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, <laughs> you mean die. We should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Mm. Disappointed. Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're- I will. My, my conscience Don't will touch know. Anything. I'm gonna touch it all. Just touch, 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 touch. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Unsullied. Haunted AF. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. All right, Caroline, we'll see. I'll, I'll give him a fair camera, shake. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. He's like, I don't wanna. My bro's stupid. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. I'll check on him after I check this cool camera.
Oh, this is cool. Ah, I see. That's where we're going to go swimming into. So what horrifying image am I going to find? I'm just waiting. Oh. Showing me a lot of images. Okay, there we go. I was ready just like to see like some decaying corpse or something. Wouldn't put it past this game. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hey, hey, I'm what's happening. Okay. Gotta check on dying brother, but first. Full name, Felicity Dubois. October 3rd of 83. 5'8", 120 pounds. This doesn't look kosher. I don't see the issue. Don't have him escape, keep him on the boat because it's more fun with him. All right, we'll see. We'll see. No, 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 don't go up. Okay, fine. We're going up. Not ready yet. I'm gonna go talk to Felic Felicity. Excuse me, Fliss. Also, that is the cutest nickname. Fliss. I love it. No, oh, you don't want to- oh, you- come on, talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Do you know how to use that? No. I know how to turn it off and on. No. Not really. Ha <laughs> ha. You might want to just let it do its thing. No, I'm a man, therefore I'm an expert in all technology. You don't want to talk to me? Fine, I don't want to talk to you either. Why is height spelled wrong? Okay, there was a picture I could take a look at. This boat is a lot bigger than expected. What am I looking at here? Just a creepy ass painting. Oh, that's one of the photographs. Premonition unlocked. High and dry found during wreck. Let's watch this again. Something that takes place in the bathroom, maybe? I don't know how useful that's actually going to be. You might want to turn that back on now. Let her do it. She doesn't want me to touch it, Tracer. It's called a fake ID. I think Fliss is completely trustworthy, and you guys are just being silly. Oh, nothing else over there. I like the non-scary parts. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. What says brewski? I'm feeling sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. I did tell you to say yes to Sorry everything. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Did more than that, just a script trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. There's one. There we go. I'm not sure Out of innocence. Anything on the mainland. So let's go through her shit. Only smell as good as a cross. At least it made her happy. <laughs> a must read for. Oh, okay. Just go back. I couldn't read the whole thing on top. Okay. Alright, time to go back up. Oh, wait. Wait. Alright, we have a creepy locked door. Macri. <laughs> Tell me Macri. Well, from now on, Marky, I'll just call you Macri if that's what you really want. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. That's then cool. Is that actually a thing? Time on your way up. State of the art. That's okay. awesome. I know nothing about diving. Entry check done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
you were Katie spell. Well, I'm sorry. I like to pronounce things the way they're spelled. Uh, we're gonna flirt because I feel really awkward with her because I'm not sure if I'm gonna propose or not. Good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, Conrad, you don't scare me. Clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. Sure, she'll really love that. Funny. Take or take. What? That's a camera or... I want the baton. Uh oh, my bearing is updated? What does that actually mean? Oh yeah. It's a bang stick, whatever the heck that is. Stick that goes bang. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Alright, kid. Uh -huh. Good to you go. ever have to use one? On a shark? Just nope. remember the rules, please! Go with Julia. Uh, romantic. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> if you want that me to, baby. The cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Well, he's the worst flirt ever. Yes, a rebreather is a thing. That's really nifty. <laughs> the thought of actually, like, diving terrifies me. I will never try that. You hit sharks in the nose with it, apparently. Apparently that it's that's a bang stick's primary use. Whoa. You good? More or less. Baby, I'm better than good. I'm fly. Hey Lou! Welcome! Place is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. I hey, fully souvenir. intend on ransacking that. Cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I'm gonna I touch everything and steal everything I can. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. All right, let's see if the swimming controls are super annoying. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still in that. <laughs> your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Still no. Ah, uh, she's kind of she's kind of liking him though. Sure. Why not? Plus, free beer. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Wow, that's a super personal, odd question. Self-assured. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. We should buy a boat. Uh... Uninterested. I just wanted the free beer. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Keeping you goons alive. See, I told you she could turn that back on, Tracer. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Okay, cool. So I'm Fliss. Boop. I yeah, fixed it! Clear. I'm a genius! I did it! Okay, well, I beat the game because I turned that little thing on. wonder if she's going to comment and be like, Yep, this is fake as hell. Yep! Yep, yep. Knew it. Nobody saw that. So we should go probably check on... What's his face? What is this over here? There's Blinky. Come here, I saw you do a Blinky. Come on. It was sparkly. There it is. Am I contacting those people? Hey, bag! Lurker uh, alert, I love it. To Julia? Great, so they're not answering. I'm sure they're totally fine. Totally fine. 
Thank you so much for dropping in back. I appreciate it. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Oh. I, I think you should be more worried about I hope those clowns don't get me killed. Okay. Yay, I looked at the pictures. Alright, let's go down and talk to Brad or Alex. I can't keep them straight. This one's Brad, right? I wonder if I get a separate flash if I look no if I look at it again maybe nope I get nothing do we need a snack apparently not oh. what's in the desk uh totally what I'm doing Wow. I had to push up on the... I don't think that's correct. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pick it back up again. I accidentally let go of R2. Alright, let's read this. Felicite Dubois. Account number. Dear Ms. Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of $24,783 with a sum of $3,481 payable by the 1st of August 2019. This amount has been overdue since that date and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the outstanding amount is received by the 30th of August, we will have no choice but to, to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Charles Saran, Senior Account Manager. Dive trip, 5,000, hotel tours, 2,400, Eddie's fishing trip, sell laptop, total per month. Call bank and cancel. So we're going to make it work. One of your followers came into my stream. It was awesome. Thank you for promoting me. Oh, I'm so happy. That's great. That's fantastic. I love it when that actually pays off. So I can open up this door. What's in here? I see another picture. Uh, someone's got a gun. Why do you keep these around? Why do you keep those alone? Alright. I mean, they're all of shipwrecks. Isn't that like... A little... Isn't that some bad juju to have? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. You, you kind of are. Uh, we'll be sympathetic. Hey, it's your vacation. We want a big tip at You're the end of this. To overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Mm. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives? What other dives have they done? When I got to booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Are you, though? Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Oh, great. Hey, Look, this is not good. Are these pirates? What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. They're definitely... The Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Shoot first, ask questions later. This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid. I love okay? her voice actress. She seems to be the most believable character in her line delivery so far. Ooh. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? I'll be in and out of chat. It's bedtime for the little dude. Okay, Lou. Look at our boat. We can take care of this man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, seriously, dude, you're gonna whip out a wad of cash? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Conrad, you're making things so well, much worse. You think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. 
All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh my God, you're killing me, man. And soon he's gonna kill you. Don't kill him off just because of it. Okay, okay, I won't kill him. I get it, Caroline, I won't kill him. Maybe. You gotta comfort people through hangover and you get a big tip. Jared says kill him. <laughs> Maybe we should put it to a vote. Should I kill off Conrad or not kill off Conrad? Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. Give in to the dark side, do it. Death to the storm cloaks. Oh good. I'm really glad I don't have to to swim. Walking around feels janky enough as it is. Oh shit! Press the wrong button. Ah, fuck! Well, shark's gonna come eat me. I was not prepared for that. Hope you got your tetanus shot. Uh ladies first? Nope, guess I am swimming. Damn, I missed that. I'm... Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. Come on, click on the thing. Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh, another premonition. Uh, heart attack? I have no idea. None of these are helpful. I don't know. I don't think I missed anything back here. Nah, leave him. <laughs> I don't know, Caroline. It seems that you're losing the vote. Ooh, something up top. No, don't go in the tiny tunnel. Please don't. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Oh, I'm gonna do it because I don't care. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Yeah, don't be such a sex gonad? organ. Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little edge lord. I love how bad of an idea this is. Let's do it. You really wanna to propose to this woman? You're gonna end up alone because she's gonna get herself killed. Oh, how cute! It's a friend! You scared the poor baby. Where did this chick learn her insults? <laughs> ha! Got it this time, you stupid game. Was the octopus supposed to be startling? Because I just thought he was darling. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that. I was fine. Out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Wow. She definitely doesn't have anxiety disorders. Bad luck and misfortune will infest your pathetic soul for all eternity. Okay, so Wesley definitely boosted the volume on bad luck. That was loud and terrifying. This oh, and also very appropriate. Launch from a US base. Hmm, okay. So that really doesn't tell us anything. Just that they searched three areas and every single one was clear. On their way to help out a ship. So they haven't found the ship in question. Uh, are you guys experiencing buffering issues? Because my laptop is, and I want to make sure it hasn't frozen for you guys. Ooh, that's a big bullet. Ooh, a secret! 
I found his secret, guys. Anti-aircraft shell. A shell on the wrecked B-29 found lodged in the plane. The wrecked B-29 was shot down. I buffered for like a few moments. Had a blip. Okay, cool. Uh, I am not going to worry about it then. Was that the first secret? No. Oh, the fight plan was a secret, and this was a secret. All down the fuselage. They're all down the fuselage. When he sees this. Sure, I don't miss more cool secret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Another secret Let's missing lifeboat. You, you didn't take the camera, you took the boomstick. Bang stick. Whatever. Shark stick. Shark beat em up stick. Had a blip too. Okay. Well, as long as it didn't last long and it's working fine, I'm not gonna worry about it. Good god. Yep, that's a dead dude. Don't touch it. Where are we touching? Holding something. Oh, it's a locket of his family. Wow. What the hell happened here? I think it was pretty well, clear. Got shot down on a search and rescue mission. Fun. Fun stuff. He's holding something. Oh, no. We already saw it. At least she left it. Wait, is there anything more back here first? Kind of in a way, so I doubt it, but... Oh! Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. What is... No, let's not. Let's not. Oh god, why are you so fast now? <laughs> I don't want to go investigate the creepy noise. No, no, no. Alright, so this is the cockpit. Cool. That's nice. Fun. <laughs> Fuck! I think I wet my wetsuit. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you goddamn eel! I'm gonna kill you with a bang stick! Oh my god! Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I hate you, jump scares! Oh, okay. Katie's eel fear. I love eels, just not when they'd like jump at my face. We gotta get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, that that's a shark there. Shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! <laughs> right, I like her a little bit more now. Not interested in us. Let's go. Good job destroying the wreck, by the way. I mean, I guess it's debatable if you can actually destroy something that's already oh wrecked, but. Uh, oh, okay. I uh... do not propose down here, dude. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, that's more. Oh, I. Know, I... I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's... Maybe he wants to break time. up and not propose. Uh... I am a flirt. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hmm... Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. I just don't see them working out. She seems like a very flippant Flint, person. This is Julia. We're coming back. And that's over. on no basis of the choices I have made for her. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Zoom. Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn. Oh. Fuck, we gotta get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. You have to decompress. 
Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Yeah, sorry guys, you do not have an option. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? See, they were fine. It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. <laughs> oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is, is wrong that a with euphemism? You? So, why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> a group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Kinda. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, I found a really vicious eel. It's huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could. No, don't what? say it. Why? You keep that stuff a secret. Actually. How bad? Uh... There's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. No, that is not how decompression happens, but... <laughs> oh, hello. I'm back in the lovely library. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. And they're Alex all assholes. And his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Okay, you can stop with the terrible puns. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. I really don't think she and is. The love of her. Uh, vice versa. No, I don't think they're meant what to be together Connor? forever. A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. I think he's probably super insecure. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright. Stubborn. He's the only one I care about keeping she alive. She somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you. Ooh, a special feature help unlocked. Them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And You're also, well. some they won't. Does he tell you something different if you do shittily? Marky, I mean that seems scientific and correct to me. Oh, I'm sorry, Macri. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. So we Brad, broke it. It was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Oh my god. It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like <laughs> he's not with this kind of phenomenon. Sounds legit. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. <laughs> you oh, did poorly. We might as well just playing. stop the story I here. I like below deck if you want to check it out. <laughs> Uh, theory. Hey there, polar bear. You good? I Sorry, do not uh, approach my emotions. I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Oh my god, just say it. Can you believe what we just got to experience? All right. No, I'm pretty unbelievable. Something up. You can talk to me, really. I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like... I really like her top too, Emily. No. I was just thinking that. What's next? Mm, ignore the I hard stuff. We've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I just gonna like let it go. Alex. If we don't talk about it, we don't have to deal with it. You know where everybody is? I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? 
I like how they even gave her tan uh, lines no from where her bikini top is. Distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. But I want to go so, check out that bullet. Which one is uh, our room? Know, where the magic happens. Oh God, he's repulsive, Caroline. He truly is. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Neutral colors play in the dream! <laughs> Lame. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. Well. Oh, I see. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more. I wonder if we caught anything terrifying on camera. Air Rescue Service, Conwyn Island. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my list. As the go go sing. So, we're going again tomorrow? Okay. So we got some good pictures. I like when they pay attention to details hey, like tan lines. Sorry, yes. I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. I can go get it myself, bro. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Mm. Oh. I don't even know you. We should get back. You shot down. Just like that plane. <laughs> The sunset's really pretty. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. And Turian gold. gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? I do, I do. Is it cursed by pirates? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. One yeah. missing, all eh? You. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, wow, Fliss, you're just like flipping out now. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. I'm dismissive, oh, I do what on. I want. No one knows we've even been down there, and I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else. I mean, she's a spoiled little rich girl, what do you expect? should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Okay, Andrew. It's bad luck. You Hope think it goes well. You scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Definitely uh, not inviting ghosts to the surface. That's the last like thing that. I want to do. Oh, shut up, like Conrad. Anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh my God, you guys are so mature. Yeah, sure. But, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Yep, we're gonna be sportive. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Let's not go visit it. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man. <laughs> like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar... He told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. I don't want to hear the story. Stood atop an atoll. 
isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. Respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. <laughs> One misty morning needs to die. comes upon a woman covered in blood. She I still haven't made up my mind if I want to kill him or not. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. The he sea. doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Oops. I was forget it's the right stick. Key of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse it's keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman oh my God. murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so... Who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. Then she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. No, we're coming up I on a jump scare. Husband. I just know it. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So you mean wary. So the keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. Although marriage can be quite wearying, sure, huh, Wesley? There's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Murder-suicide combo. Closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer closer nope and he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams <laughs> i so knew that was coming but it was Super still gross twin. nice okay we cool we cool nice one squire i'll be appreciative you have me going pretty cool i think you told it better last time but good effort okay You've all had your fun? We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regular issues are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue, regulatory, institutional protocol, subdivision. Kim Night Shabal on uh, Ding Dong uh, Twist. <laughs> where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells they you... They had a coupon! Under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 4 good buddy. And I'm out. <laughs> I mean, you're on a boat. I, I don't see the issue with one more beer. She does, Marky. I totally agree. All right, so we have some pirates on board, I'm guessing. Great, shadow figures. Ring rates, wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's one way to open the door. If you want to break it, ah, no respect, man. His name is Junior. But I passed! I did them both correctly! That's not fair. Why am I still captured? By the way, Conrad, this is all your fault. Caroline, I'm gonna have to kill him. <laughs> uh, we're gonna unguard Fliss because she actually is smarter. She has a much better chance of negotiating with these guys. Just have to piss them off. 
Indeed it is. No, he's useful, I swear. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, for sleepy time clothes, it's reasonable. Yeah, you bleeding there, ain't ya? Got you with a beer bottle. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Oh god, please don't kill me. Almost free. Dang, that was impressive. There was no way in hell I could do that. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognized them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. <laughs> hey. Alex. All right, Wesley, be safe. Us. Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. They're not just worried about being killed. Uh, we're going to untie. Guys, we got to get untied. I do like how the game makes you make these, like, split-second decisions. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Damn, Fliss. You're the little lady. You didn't even let me dodge that one. Oh, dude. Brain damage is bad, okay? What do you fuckers want? I want to stab you with my knife hand. Slow down. Easy. Yeah, Danny. Fuck you. I'm going to kill you. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to take the whole ear. That's not that bad. I mean, out of all the terrible things that you could do, taking a little piece of his ear... You never heard a girl called Little Lady before, Marky? Be on your best behavior, little man. Get off! Get off of me! <clears throat> what? <sighs> Woohoo! Freedom, baby! We're totally tied up. Don't mind us. Innocent captives here. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. It hurts a little. It stings. Does anybody have hydrogen wait, peroxide? Wait, no. Now they know you've been untied. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, dipstick. I don't think they're gonna hit her. A little slap yeah, normally follows. Flesh sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. <sighs> Did you see my brother? Yeah. Oh, it'll He's be high. fine, Caroline. Okay. Don't worry about it. Right. Turn around. 
I'm just trying to stay true to character. I feel like he's a lot of bravado. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take it by surprise. Okay, they're coming. That was fast. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Ooh, bowler hat, dude. Yeah, yeah, Discord. Well, oh, me personally? No, I am not looking at Discord. I don't, I have it closed on my computer. Otherwise, the ding when things come in throws me off. Why? Why, Caroline? It'll be fine. Oh, we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Eight miles. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. No, I remember that from a premonition. He's got a gun. Yep, he definitely oh. shot the person taking the speedboat. Get another boat. Get some help. Nope, not doing that. Mm. These fuckers need to pay. We, we are not getting on the speedboat. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Guys, let's not forget Brad is hiding. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. That also sounds like a bad idea. Side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. All of this sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Remember the eight, it's important. Well, now it's seven. Four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? I, I did it. I pressed R2. I don't know why my dude didn't. For some reason, I think that failed, but I pressed R2 at eight. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, keep calm. Okay. This is a terrible idea. Drop it, Buster. Yep, Buster. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Great! But they failed. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Oh, God. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. said not to let him escape, so I'm doing this for you, Caroline. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Man, that sucked. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Absolutely nobody. There's a trophy for getting it right, but it has a rather low success rate from what I have seen. Oh, dang. So I definitely got it wrong then. 
I figured it was it would be on six since it went from eight and seven and then to six, but I still must have got the timing wrong. I just knew I shouldn't get on the boat. Because then I would have gotten shot. At least we're all alive together. Guys, when does this game save? We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right. Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm that was just gonna easy. say it. Bliss has gotta be in on this. Oh my god! These guys, they travel in the same waters. Oh, which automatically makes the them captain, like best friends. They barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. <laughs> Not Conrad. No one's dead yet, Andrew. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, so. What a call, Kenny. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Whew. Man, captive situations are uh, tense. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. Get it. You try anything, Sardini. There'll be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. about this storm you can give us? Oh, I feel like I should ask for help. I don't know what to do. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of bucks and drops of rain. I feel like I'm making the wrong choice. See you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Oh, I didn't have to be that reassuring. I could have just been like, we're fine. Thanks. Bye. And then maybe he would still have sent someone out to check on me. I love the word cahoots. It is good. Oh, shit. Mother of God. Damn it. No. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Damn it. Don't you? It's hard to read chat because then I miss things. down there. Hey! Move it! Now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding? Why are you missioning him in front of other people? Brad, it's under the bunk bed. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Agreed. Oh, yeah, great. He could get killed down there. He'll be fine. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Okay, there are act breaks. That's good to know, James. Thank you. The ghost ship, you guys. James, any idea how many acts there are? 
in total. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Skeleton Man. Oh, you son of a bitch. Even he's a little startled, isn't he? Right, Andrew? These guys are so dumb, you just want to kill them all anyway. Everyone's still alive. Yay! Things could have been quite different. But I remembered. A premonition, man. Now praise me and said I did a good job again. Yes, yeah, I remember, Marky. McCree. <laughs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the <laughs> Love is love. For inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. So the Manchurian gold is probably not actual gold. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress... I'm not distressed. I presume you're eager to get back totally to your fine. story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, so Manchurian gold is not actual treasure or something. It means something else. But okay. So that seems like a really good stopping point. I don't know how many chapters and everything there are, but James, you're telling me it did save after that scene, right? Oh, okay. Act break scenes only appear in multiplayer. Really? How cool, Marky. <laughs> well, I think it probably saved. Right? Somebody, somebody who's played this before, tell me if it's saved, because this is kind of the perfect stopping point. And then we can uh, pick up with more tomorrow. Oh man, my nerves are a bit shot. <laughs> I might actually Google it, except I don't have my phone with me. It's charging. It will definitely have saved there. Okay, sweet. It should be saved. No, I know, Marky. I get that. <laughs> okay, cool. Then we're going to pause here. This was awesome fun. This actually... Aside from the jump scares, I expected it to be, well, scarier just atmospherically, but um, the, the hostage situation is tense, but it's not actually scary. So I'm interested to see where we go when we get on the ghost ship. And uh, thank you again. Huge thank you to Emily for my donation. That was super sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, everybody, if you haven't done so already and you did enjoy the stream, please leave a thumbs up. Greatly appreciated. Uh, I will be playing more Man of Man tomorrow at uh, 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. And uh, we should probably finish this game this week. And then I'll put up another poll and you guys can pick what I'll play next. But uh, thank you for the great turnout. This was really fun. I'm trying. I couldn't totally, uh, I couldn't keep up with chat exceptionally well, but I did my best. Oh, Steve. Oh, well, thank you for the pop in. I appreciate it. Yeah, it does feel like it's just starting, but it, it's only supposed to be a four and a half, five hour game. So I guess we'll see. Yes, Jared, you read. Don't forget to leave that like. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Uh, hit me up on Discord. Uh, if you guys don't have the Discord link, PM me on Twitter and I'll send it to you. But yeah, let's talk about it in Discord. All right. Good night, you guys. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Hopefully you won't have any bad dreams tonight. And cheers. Hey, Andrew, no worries. I, I hope that uh, the subsequent streams uh, are entertaining enough when you're not actually present. <laughs> okay, sounds good, James. Good night. <laughs>